in this video we have been given that angle ABC is 90 degrees angle CPQ is 90 degrees and AP is equal to CP and AB is 8 BQ is 6 then we have to find shaded area so if we join AQ then interangle ABQ it is A B Q A B is 8 B Q is 6 and this angle is 90 degrees so A Q a square it will be a b a square plus b q a square by pythagoras theorem and a q a square it is equal to a b is 8 a square plus b q is 6 a square and a q a square it is 64 plus 36 that will be 100 so a q it will be root 100 that will be 10 so a q it is 10 and Now, this angle, it will be 90 degrees. So, interangle APQ and triangle CPQ, we have AP is equal to CP and angle APQ is equal to angle CPQ and PQ is common. So, triangle APQ it will be congruent to triangle CPQ Hence, AQ, it will be equal to CQ and AQ is 10. So, CQ, it will be also 10 and area of APQ it will be equal to area of CPQ suppose A if this area is A then this area it will be also A and
now in any triangle a b c if d base is b and height is h then area of a b c it is 1 over 2 times base times height and in triangle AQC area of AQC it will be 1 over 2 times base is QC times height is AB and area of AQC it is A plus A it is A plus A it is equal to 1 over 2 times QC is 10 times AB is 8 and 2 times 5 is 10. So, 2A it is 5 times 8 and 2A is 40. So, A it will be 40 over 2 that will be 20. So, shaded area it is area of CPQ and it is A that is 20. So, it is 20.